Top 5 Man Portable Anti-Tank Guided Missiles Tank destruction was the main goal of anti-tank guided missiles. Thus, which anti-tank missile is now the deadliest in existence? Below is an inventory of some of the top man portable guided anti-tank missiles on the market right now. Missiles that are currently in development are not included in this list. And these are the top 5 man portable anti-tank guided missiles in the world. On number 5, we have HJ-12. A Chinese replica of the US Javelin is called the HJ-12. The first time it was made public was in 2014. The characteristics and capabilities of this Chinese missile are comparable to those of the FGM-148A Javelin. It is being offered as a less costly substitute for the Javelin to export clients. It can penetrate 800 mm of steel armor hidden behind explosive reactive armor at a range of 2,500 meters. This missile strikes its targets from above and employs a similar infrared imaging guiding system to the Javelin. More improved Chinese anti-tank guided missiles, which resemble U.S. Javelins, are available for sale. TS-01 and GM-100 anti-tank guided missiles are two examples of this. Even if these and the HJ-12 are largely comparable. On number 4, we have Javelin. The FGM-148 Javelin is a man-portable, fire-and-forget anti-tank missile manufactured in the United States. It was deployed to replace the M47 Dragon in the middle of the 1990s. 1996 saw the start of deliveries to the U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps. Australia, France, and the United Kingdom are among the roughly 20 nations to which the Javelin has been exported. At present, the FGM-148 Javelin stands as one of the world's most sophisticated man-portable anti-tank guided missile weapons. It can eliminate any main combat tank in use today. Low-flying helicopters can also be targeted by it. The Javelin and various other current anti-tank missiles, like the Israeli Spike, are simply unmatched. The Javelin is a man-portable fire-and-forget type weapon. It is shoulder-fired, but can also be installed on a tripod or tracked and wheeled armor vehicles. The Javelin missile system is operated by a crew of two. The missile has an infrared imaging guidance system. It locks on the target before launch. During flight, it guides automatically. During that time, the operator can detach an empty tube from the CLU and attach another tube with a missile. It takes about 15 seconds. Alternatively, the crew can leave a firing position. Attacks can be conducted in two ways, directly or via the top. Engaging tanks and other armored vehicles is done in the top attack flight mode. The missile soars higher after launch before diving in the direction of the target. This approach is ideal for eliminating main battle tanks as the majority of them only have a rudimentary degree of armor protection in the turret's upper section. The missile hits the target straight when it is in direct attack mode. The enemy troop concentrations, weapon crews, buildings, and bunkers are all targeted in this phase. The Javelin can also take down helicopters flying at low altitudes when it is in direct attack mode. The missile's tandem-shaped charge warhead weighs 8.4 kilograms. Any explosive reactive armor is destroyed by a precursor warhead, and the major warhead pierces the base armor. It can pierce steel armor measuring 800 millimeters. Thus, the Javelin can destroy any main battle tank that is currently in existence anywhere in the world. The Javelin can fire up to 2,500 meters at its maximum range. The firm has created a Javelin variant with a range of 4,750 meters. An FGM 148F variant is available that is equipped with a multifunctional warhead. When used against hostile soldiers, weapon crews, structures, and lightly armored or unarmored vehicles, it is far more effective. Against tanks, this missile remains deadly. On number 3, we have Spike LR2. A new fifth-generation guided missile designed to counter tanks is called the Spike LR2. It was created in Israel. It is an upgraded version of the original Spike LR which saw great success and was sold to almost 30 nations, including the majority of NATO members. The new LR2 can penetrate more armor and has an even greater range. It was intended for use by light combat vehicles and troops. Additionally, watercraft and helicopters can deploy this missile. Orders for the Spike LR2 have increased since its launch. The Israel Defense Forces placed the first order for this missile in 2017. Australia, Estonia, Germany, Latvia, and Slovakia have also chosen the Spike LR2 so far, but other nations may place orders for this missile. 
The Spike LR2 is being licensed and produced by Eurosbike in Germany. This missile has a range of up to 5.5 kilometers. When fired from a helicopter, this missile has a range up to 10 kilometers using a wireless data link. The Spike LR2 uses infrared imaging guidance. It has a new infrared seeker with a smart target tracker and artificial intelligence features. It was designed to overcome active protection systems. This missile can attack targets from the top. It can be launched in fire and forget mode, as well as fire observe and update mode. Alternatively, it can be launched in no line of sight and use third-party target designation using the wireless data link. It pierces 900 mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor with a tandem-shaped charge warhead. An additional option for this missile is a multi-purpose explosion warhead that works well against field fortifications, structures, and bunkers. It can explode inside the structure and penetrate up to 200 mm of reinforced concrete. Additionally effective against lightly armored vehicles is this multipurpose warhead. The Spike LR-2 missile is compatible with launchers of the original Spike LR. Number 2 on our list is Omtis. The first man-portable medium-range anti-armor missile produced in Turkey is the Omtis, also called the Mizraco. The missile's development got underway in 2010. Its actual origins are unknown, but theoretically, it is a fourth-generation guided anti-tank missile with lethality, accuracy, and range. However, it appears that missiles such as the Israeli Spike MR and the US TOW 2B have had an impact on its look. It proved to be a very sophisticated weapon. The Amtas was designed to knock out main battle tanks with explosive reactive armor. It can travel a distance of 4,000 meters and penetrates around 1,000 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. This missile has infrared guidance. It can be launched in fire and forget mode, as well as in fire and update mode. Also, it has direct and top attack modes. And on number one, we have MMP. A newer fifth-generation guided missile designed to counter the tanks is the MMP from France. It was initially released in 2012 and created to satisfy the demands of the French army. 2017 saw the start of deliveries to the French army. The MMP is a missile with multiple uses. Tanks, bunkers, and enemy soldiers within buildings can all be defeated by it. The missile's range is 4 kilometers. For both long-range and concealed targets, the MMP provides non-line-of-sight launching. Its tandem-shaped charge warhead allows it to pass through 1,000 mm of steel armor, which is covered in explosive reactive armor. It is a top attack system with fire and forget capability. However, the operator can also guide the missile to its target manually. This anti-tank missile is suited for indoor launches. The MMP follows a convenient setup consisting of a launch tube, a portable fire control system slash guidance unit with day and night optics, and a collapsible tripod mount.